Nearly a million people live in Florida's most densely populated county, but there's still plenty of room here to enjoy the peace and quiet of nature. In fact, Pinellas County has tens of thousands of acres of park and preserve lands to explore. Today on Discovering Pinellas, we're gonna find out about everyday people who have worked hard to preserve beautiful places like this with the help of local government. And we'll show you some of the wild spots right here in your own backyard. Whether you live in a bustling downtown like St. Peter Clearwater or in the suburbs of Palm Harbor, you don't have to go far to lose yourself in the natural world. In the mangrove forest at Whedon Island, or a wooded trail where you can spot deer in the early morning hours. Brooker Creek Preserve is just a few miles from the traffic of US-19, but it feels like another world. Lara Milligan knows every plant and animal that lives in these pristine 8,700 acres at the northern edge of Pinellas County. Lara, wow, it is like being in another world out here. Yeah, absolutely. So tell me a little bit about what makes Brooker Creek such a special place in an urban county like Pinellas. So many things. One thing that we always like to tell our visitors is that it is the largest remaining natural area that we have in Pinellas County. One of the things we always encourage people to do is like on their drive in alone, right? The speed limit's slow for a reason. It's curvy for a reason. I encourage you to just slow down and just take in what you can see on your drive in. A lot of times people will see deer. Um, you can see turkey on your drive in um, and tons of birds, whether it's wading birds or if you're into birding, a lot of migrants and songbirds that people can see. And then the ecosystems that we have here, so we're almost a 50-50 split between uplands and wetlands, where we're standing right now. You get to see a mix of both just in a short amount of time. What are some of the things that people can expect to do and see when they come and take a visit to the preserve? So, I mean, one of the main things is, of course, going on a hike. Um, and people can just come here and go at their leisure. It's open every day of the week, 7 a.m. Um, to an about an hour before sunset. And then we offer a wide variety of programs, including guided hikes if you don't feel comfortable going by yourself. And then we do programs for youth, we do family programs, we do just exclusively adult programs. Um, and through our friends group, we have a wide variety of offerings as well, like night hikes and kind of going off of our trail system, we call them off the beaten path hikes. So just tons of opportunities that we have here for visitors. What are a couple of your favorite places to explore here in Brooker Creek? One is where we're standing right now on the bridge because this is Brooker Creek that we're standing over right now. And we always get to see whether it's alligators right here or again, tons of different wading birds and things like that. And then getting out deep into the trail, we have about a four mile loop trail system. And so just once you get kind of a mile or so deep in there, you just really feel this like peace and you can relax and just like feel like you are really away um, from the urbanization again and just enjoying nature. So we've got 20,000 acres of parks and preserves in Pinellas County. How did we go about preserving so much green space in such an urban environment like we have? A lot of it is, I mean, it's a combination of the citizens really voicing their need and desire for things like that, as well as having you know, elected officials that have that same vision and are listening to the voters. Um, so we've had things like Penny for Pinellas that have really helped to fund additional acreage, not only for Brooker Creek, but a lot of other um, natural areas in Pinellas County. Um, again, we have tons of different parks and preserves all throughout the county that have been you know, supported through funds like this and just from citizens speaking up to not only say that they appreciate what already exists, but to help to secure more lands for the future. Since Pinellas County's earliest days, residents have worked together with local government to save beaches, wetlands, forests, and lakes so they can be enjoyed by everyone. If you visit downtown St. Petersburg, you won't see any towering condos on the waterfront, which was saved as parklands around the time of the city's founding. Since 1990, the voter-approved Penny for Pinellas has helped preserve more than 4,000 acres of land. For many passionate residents, protecting places like this is a labor of love. Groups like Friends of Whedon Island do educational programs and even raise private funds for special projects, like the restoration of a prehistoric canoe found right here at the preserve. I talked with the group's president, Bill Faring, about what it means to be a friend of Pinellas County's wild places. Bill, what does it mean to you to be a friend of Whedon Island? Well, our organization uh, provides a mechanism by which the public can contribute to the preservation, the enhancement, and the operation of what is a very important natural and cultural resource to the region. Our programs include 
uh, physical improvements such as plantings in the preserve, artwork in the, in the center. We also run a gift shop. Uh, we fund school trips for kids, uh, summer camps. Uh, we put scholarships uh, out for summer camps. And we fund most of the uh, online education programs that are produced here at the center. What are some of the unique things that people can see when they come to visit the preserve? There's five miles of trails, both uh, on the boardwalks and on upland areas. Uh, we have a kayak trail that is very, very popular. And at our history center, we have an extensive uh, presentation of the cultural history. The most recent exhibit that we have there is an 1,100-year-old canoe that was found in the mud in the mangroves at the preserve and has been excavated and restored uh, with funding by the Friends and a variety of other agencies uh, in doing it. And it's really a spectacular exhibit in that it's the largest canoe ever found in Florida and the largest one found almost anywhere in salt water. Tell me about a project that your group is particularly proud of. Really, there is a, one project that stands out. Uh, very recently, one of our new members uh, took it on herself to improve the directional signage on the trails, which were old and, and really inadequate. Uh, so she and some of her friends have produced almost 20 beautiful new signs uh, that are almost all installed now. And it has greatly enhanced the experience for hikers and new people, uh, out-of-towners that come to Wheaton Island. What do you think makes people in Pinellas County or the Tampa Bay region especially passionate about preserving and improving places like this? People are passionate about protecting areas that they recreate, that they enjoy, but it's not just the preservation of the land that's important to the Friends members at least. I think they're very much motivated by the range of programs that we allow them to undertake. Uh, people who live in Riviera Bay, very close to the preserve, they've always been big supporters of the preserve. But with the pandemic, uh, the knowledge of the preserve went astronomically higher because of everybody was coming here, it was the only place open. And so the knowledge of the existence of the preserve and the interest in preserving it and working with us has just astronomically increased as the number of people in Pinellas and throughout the region have learned about it. While millions of visitors flock to our shores to hit the beach or enjoy our cities, our parks and preserves remain a special treasure for everyone who calls Pinellas home. And because of the love of our citizens for nature, they'll be here for generations to come. If you'd like to find a special place to get outdoors, you can find a full list of our parks and preserves at pinellascounty.org parks. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on YouTube and continue to follow us on social media. And remember to enjoy the place you live by getting outdoors.